Hi everyone, Jackie Edwards here. I just wanted to do a quick video about assessing floor plans, specifically floor plans for rent to rent HMOs, but you can do the same thing when you're looking at, you know, just regular HMOs that you might purchase. But for us, we're going to look at the to rent section of Rightmove. So you can see Rightmove here on my screen. We're going to start off by looking in Oxford. So I don't know what I'm going to find. I haven't done this in a while, but let's look at the to rent market. I'm going to look at three bedroom houses. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on finding three bedroom houses that have floor plans that we can look at so that we can assess those floor plans and see if we can get one, maybe two extra bedrooms out of them so that, you know, as an HMO, we can kind of increase the value of the property, bring in more income, more cash flow and more profits from them. So what I'll do is I put in Oxford and I went to rent. Um, I'm just going to search this whole radius. If you have a specific area that you're looking in, you can put in just a postcode. Um, you can put in a certain specific amount of miles from that postcode or that area. I don't care what the price range is for right now. I'm going to look at just three bedroom houses so that we can see if we can find one where again we can add a fourth bedroom or even a fifth bedroom. I'm going to look at any property. I don't mind if it's a house or a flat. Um, and the magic button here is to include let agreed properties because again, those are the ones we know what they're rented at, so what the actual price was. And we can also kind of monitor them because, you know, sometimes things fall out um, before they kind of get finalized. And if something were to fall out and it would come back on the market, the owner is likely to be a little bit more desperate um, to start getting the rental income coming in. So now we'll click Find Properties and we'll just scroll through. So I do want to look at the most recent ones. And the main thing we're looking for is if you can see this little um, icon here, that's the floor plan icon. So we want to focus in this video about looking at floor plans. So we're just going to look at the properties that have floor plans. So we can see a few of them don't. Oh, here's one. So let's have a look at this one's floor plan. So it says this is a three bedroom semi detached house. And go down to the floor plan. So you can see this is the first floor we've got one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom and a nice WC so down here the kitchen this is probably a perfect layout for turning something into another bedroom um, I would say the dining room but that's where the door to the kitchen is so we might want to look at adding another a new door to the kitchen maybe closing that one off we'd have to put a bit more of a stud wall here to fill that in and an entrance store, but that could work quite nicely for a bedroom. So that's a good property where we could add a bit of value and make it from a three bedroom property to a four bedroom property. So that was a good one to look at first. You might want to have a think also about this property. You can see it's got a bathroom. It's only one bathroom in the whole house, but it does have a toilet with a separate um, kind of bath shower room. That's good. And especially if this is only four bedrooms, I would say you could get away with this type of bathroom, but ideally you would want more bathrooms in a property like this. So if we were going to buy this property, that would make it even better. You might be able to put another bathroom here in the utility room that they could access from the living room. It looks like this is under the stairs, so it would depend on you know how deep that um, the head height is there. So those are the things I would look at with this property. Let's go back and see if we can find another one with a floor plan. Ooh, yep, this next one, another three bedroom detached house this time. So if we look at this floor plan, again, we can see one, two, three bedrooms upstairs. This one's even better. So we've got an ensuite in the master bedroom and a separate bathroom for these. And now this one's a bit trickier to get another bedroom out of. So we've got the entrance into the kitchen I would say this is quite a big room, so we would want to have a look at if we could just put a wall across here and have the back part of it be a separate bedroom, or um, even a little bit closer here. It is the entrance to the stairwell, so we would have to leave that open. Um, if we were buying this property, I would say that would make it a little bit easier because you could spend a bit more money. You might want to open up this kitchen so again, put a wall across here and then open up the kitchen so you could have kind of an open plan kitchen, dining room, maybe a little bit of a living area there before you go up the stairs. 
So that's what I would consider with this property. This property is a bit better than the last one, again, because it has more bathroom facilities. So that's ideal for an HMO. Let's see if we can find another one. Yep, another three bedroom house. So again, we've got one, two, three bedrooms upstairs with a full bathroom. And this one's perfect um, for adding an extra bedroom because we've got almost a separate dining room and a separate reception room. So it looks like this is the entrance. We can go straight into the kitchen and straight up the stairs from there. So ideally, this is quite a small little kitchen, so it might not work perfectly. But if we were really pressed, we could have two extra bedrooms down here. We just need to make sure that that was a real wall there. So we could have five bedrooms in this property. Again, because there's only one bathroom, that wouldn't be ideal. And because the kitchen's quite small, that probably wouldn't be great. So I would suggest putting this one, this front reception room, into a bedroom. And if we were buying this property, I would say open this out and have an open plan kitchen and dining room. So with four bedrooms, you could probably get away with sharing one bathroom. Or again, maybe you could um, squeeze another one in if you jig around the kitchen if you were purchasing this property. But for a rent to rent, I would say just stick with turning this one into a bedroom and you'd be all set to get your four bedrooms. We'll see if there's maybe one more that we can look at. So again, another three bedroom house. We can see all three bedrooms, one, two, three on the first floor with a bathroom here in the middle. This one again is quite good because we've got two separate living rooms. So we have the entrance here and we can go all the way back to the kitchen and up the stairs without having to go through the living rooms. So if we really wanted to, we could make each of these a bedroom and have five bedrooms. Again, because there's only one bathroom, that wouldn't be ideal for a house share. But it looks like our kitchen diner is quite a good size. So we could make that a bit of a kitchen diner, maybe a small little kind of living space over here. So that would be plenty of communal space for the house. Um, the only problem with this one, again, is the bathroom. So whether we could fit another kind of um, bathroom shower facility, maybe in one of these bedrooms, depending on how the plumbing works in the house, that could be a great possibility because these bedrooms, at least this one looks quite big. So this could at least make a nice four bedroom property with one bathroom or if we could squeeze another bathroom somewhere we could definitely have a five bedroom house here and now now that I'm in this flow of it let's look at one more Ooh, this one looks from the picture it's got a big room here so let's see what this one is three bedroom townhouse oh, this one's got three floors so let's start at the top top floor we've got two bedrooms and they each have their own bathrooms that's Fabulous. And the middle floor, we've got another bedroom and a f ensuite. So there's three bedrooms. And again, we've got this living room here. So that's perfect. We could turn that into a bedroom and have four. And then going down into this area, we've got a big kitchen and conservatory. That would be perfect for, you know, kitchen and communal area. And it's got an integral, integral garage. So we could possibly look at converting this into another bedroom to get five. There's a little WC out here, so that would be great. Or they could share the bathroom up here. So we could have one, two, three, four, five bedrooms sharing one, two, three bathrooms. So that would be no problem and a half bath. So this is probably one of the, depending on the kind of sizes of all of these rooms and really the layout, once we got inside, this one probably would be my favorite so far for turning into a five bedroom house. Um, as a rent to rent, you'd have to be careful of turning, doing a garage conversion. We have done one before in one of our properties and we split the cost with the owner. So we got a great return on our investments and they got a great return on their investment as well. Um, but it was a bit pricey. So you would have to run your numbers quite carefully. But even if you didn't um, convert that, you could have four bedrooms. Um, sharing three bathrooms, which would be quite high end, and you'd have a nice big communal area here with the conservatory and a big kitchen. So that's probably my favorite property so far. So I hope you found that helpful just looking through a couple of floor plans um, to start assessing properties when you're looking to take on 
you know, either a rent to rent HMO or just an HMO in general on what you can be looking for to kind of start adding more value and getting more profit out of your properties. Um, if we were looking at actually purchasing these a bit more versus the rent to rent, there's a lot more we could do with kind of moving things around, opening up kitchens a bit more. Um, but again, we just stick with as easy as possible for a rent to rent scenario where you can turn a living room or a reception room into a bedroom. Um, and in as much as possible, if it's already closed off, that's great. So again, hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next video.